Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on today's video, we're gonna do our final calibration video. This is the V-Series Vizio, and I wanna let you guys know that I know calibration videos are not for everyone, so I wanted to go ahead and make these five videos that I recently came out with so I can show you guys how to calibrate for the gaming consoles. Now, I'm about to bring in some more products as well as television sets to the channel, so I just wanna get all these videos done so I can transition and kind of move these out and bring in some new models. I also would tell you guys that I'm kind of like in the middle. Should I bring in 2020 model TV sets or we'll wait it out for 2021 when we have no definitive dates and some of these television sets are $3,500. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get the calibration started on this. Just want to give you guys a quick update. So sit back and relax and let's get started. All right, guys, here we have the Vizio V-Series. What we need to do is go ahead and put the TV set in gaming mode. So under picture, we want to go and click on that and make sure, see right here, that it's on gaming. Now, here's all the adjustments that we're going to use in just a minute. So let's go and hit contrast on the main menu here. If we press up, there's where the contrast needs to be, and that's the incorrect below. So let's go and do some adjustments by going back to the main menu. All right, so let's go and hit the contrast here, and we'll start adjusting it. So this is the worst case scenario. And this is the best case scenario. And I will tell you this Vizio is pretty bright overall. So let's go and adjust it a little bit. And to me, that looks good about right there. Now let's go back to the Blu-ray and we're gonna go ahead and choose your brightness. Go and press on that. All right, if you look at the top, that's what it should look like. And if at the bottom, you can see four lines. So that would be incorrect. So let's go ahead and press on that. And it looks pretty good right now, but let's go in here and see the worst case scenario with the brightness here. So now you can see all four of those lines I was referring to. Let's go ahead and dim it down a little bit, a little bit more. About right there is looking good. We're gonna now adjust the colors and intent. Like I showed you guys before, we need to use this little adapter right here to be able to see the different colors. So let's go ahead and try that out. Now we're on color, let's start adjusting. This is the worst case scenario. This is the best case scenario. So let's see here. All right, that looks good for me right there. Now, if you go down to tent, I'm looking at it, it looks pretty good right there. I wouldn't do any adjustments from there. Now let's go back into the disc and click on sharpness. Looks like the sharpness looks pretty good. Right about, yeah, about where the factory is. Looks pretty good to me. And then here's the color temperature. So here's the different temperature settings. And for me, normal looks the best. If you do cool, it's gonna look a little too blue. And if you look right there on warm, it's too dark. But normal works pretty good. Next, let's go down here to color space evaluation. And then we can go into the advanced picture settings. You can change the edge enhancements. Lows usually works good for me. Yeah, backlight control. And then you can go in here and change the gaming mode over to low latency on and HDR on. So make sure that's checked. And 1.1 is good for there. And color calibrations, I'm not gonna really mess with. But if you see at the bottom there, you have these different things you can tune in if you need to. Now let's go back and just see if there's any more settings. Here we have input picture settings. Now you have different HDMI modes. I'll leave it to automatic. Now you can do HDMI 2.1, but again, that's really just gonna be for audio pass-through. Since it's a 60 hertz television set, it will not enhance your picture. So I'll just leave that on automatic. And then down here you have full color 4.4.4. I'm gonna leave that turned on. And the color space, you can do RGB or RCBCR. I'm gonna leave that on automatic as well. So in my opinion, this is the best settings for a gaming console on the V-Series Vizio. Now when it comes to the backlight, this is option. You can adjust it anywhere you want, but I'm gonna say around 85 is gonna do good for that. You're gonna put your brightness around 52. Again, that is something that you can adjust. I will put my contrast around 26. The color around 65. Leave the tint at zero. The sharpness at 26. I will put my color temperature at normal. Under advanced picture, I will put brightness control on. And under pro gaming engine, I will make sure the low latency is on and that the HDR is on. I will leave this setting at 2.1, which is normal. 
I wouldn't touch the color calibration. Under input settings, leave it to auto. I would turn the full color 4.4.4 to own and leave the color space range on automatic. So those are the settings that I recommend and I, you guys can go out and check your own consoles and see how well it does. Now let's go ahead and calibrate the PlayStation and uh, I'll show you guys a quick sample game. Now we're here back at the PlayStation menu. Go over here to settings. Go down here to where it says screen and video. You can see again, this is a 60 hertz panel and it's set up for 4K UHD. Next, you wanna go down here to adjust HDR. So now you can see here that the adjustments looks really off. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We need to go in the TV set and turn off that HDR because it's simulating an HDR settings. So what we're gonna do is go down here, back to advanced picture. And then we're gonna go down here to pro gaming engine and turn HDR off. So let's go and exile that and finish the adjustments. Now let's go and adjust the PlayStation HDR. That looks good. And that's pretty much it. This gaming console is ready to play games. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start running a game and I'm gonna turn the HDR back on just to see if it makes any difference. So if you have a Vizio TV set, you can use these settings to get everything up and running. But like always, I like to hear what kind of comments you guys have, if these settings work for you or if they don't. But before we go, let me show you something real quick, uh, what I work with behind the scenes. So here's a quick behind the scenes of what it looks like whenever you film TV sets and uh, all these will be gone. So we can bring in some new stuff. So I'm excited about getting some new TV sets. I'm gonna get rid of these and we're gonna bring in some great products for the channel. So uh, look forward to a bright future. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you're gonna give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.